Good morning, friends and fellow farmers. And it looks like we're jumping right in with a, uh, a big dramatic scene here. What happened? Fireworks is not festival time, is it, girls? No, I don't think so. I wonder what the occasion is. What indeed? And, uh, oh, the mayor and Gloria. Hodge, this is all thanks to you. We couldn't have done it without you. Oh my, what did we do? With our your help, all of town has grown leaps and bounds, and now, and now, the luxury liner has finally made its way to our shores. Oh, look at that thing. It's just going to come crashing into town. Do we want this thing here? I, I'm going to question. Take a good look at it. That ship has been all over the world, docking at the ports of countless countries. Different people from different lands have boarded that ship, all hoping to travel and discover something new. And that ship, that very ship, has finally docked on our shores. Here they come. Welcome to Olive Town, everyone. We've got plenty of vacancies at the Gulls Rest Hotel. Come on in and stay a while. Why would they do that? They're on a cruise ship. Or maybe they dock here for like a week. If you've got time to spare, take a moment to rest at our cafe. You won't want to miss out on our locally sourced coffee. Why not stop by and spend some time with our animals? Their friendly faces are sure to cheer you up. But they won't buy animals. <laughs> they won't stay at the end. I don't know. Maybe everyone's under... I don't know. Lynn, we've got souvenir flowers here. They make the perfect gifts for loved ones. Oh, what beautiful flowers. Perhaps I'll buy myself a bouquet. Thank you very much. As they would not survive the journey home. I cannot tell you how many years I've waited for this day to come. But this isn't the time to be shedding tears. No, this is where it truly begins. We keep building. We'll keep moving forward. Yeah, this is where we'll truly grow. And I know you'll be there with us every step of the way. Interesting. So I wonder if that was... If that's a kind of end point, it doesn't... Oh, what is this? Oh, what? Okay, so we did hit it. That is so bizarre. Well, I don't... We're not done. <laughs> that's, I, I do feel like we were just kind of getting started. Interesting. I Ironically, from the point at which I took a break uh, to the point now, we, we come back for an ending. Uh, that is super weird, and I had no idea that was about to happen. Um, okay, well, we'll uh, we'll watch through here, because, you know, we watch credits. These people deserve credit. All their hard work. That is a lot of, uh, yeah, every time. It, it seems like they've been adding more and more, building up the same ideas. But somehow is trying to tweak the formula a little, a little bit without destroying the formula. It's going to be really hard making a game like this where there's so many expectations and people have so many ideas about what the game is before they've even you know played it, before they've even seen the first trailer of the new one. They know what they want, they know what they expect, uh, and trying to meet all those would be incredibly hard. I can't even imagine. There must be playtesting or something with you know hardcore fans or something to get a feel for or maybe not maybe the, the designers are so hardcore fans they know anyway that's uh quite a thing yeah i did not expect to come back to uh, an ending here <laughs> again i didn't f I, I i guess narratively it felt like there was an ending coming in the sense that we were working towards improving the town but i don't feel like we did that much like it really did it felt like we barely made a dent at what was needed for that so that's kind of interesting. Um, it feels kind of truncated. I would say it feels like the fact that you can keep playing is cool, but that felt like, a, I don't know, an artificial sense of purpose. Like, why would I want a cruise ship coming to this place uh, after we built up community and now we're going to get swamped with tourists who are going to trash the place and not buy anything? I don't know. I Maybe this is the, the dream. <laughs> At any rate, I look forward to seeing, uh, continuing on here now that we have just kind of gotten, I feel like, things moving forward. Like the fact that we've got the uh, the weird mine open up. We've got more, uh, we're all just opening up the seasonal farms. So I feel like there's still a little bit of 
going. And I, I haven't even really gone that deep in the mines. That's another one where I was like, you know what? Like, when I get my tools all, like, loaded up, that'll be great to go back in the mines and just barrel down. So I guess maybe we're... And that upper area, wasn't that a thing we need to open up still? Isn't there a... Maybe there's nothing out there ever? I have no idea. Um, and then with all of the additional regions that they added, again, I, I definitely don't feel like I've, I have done nothing. Barely touched fishing. So I, I feel like I'm not deserving of any kind of ending in this game. Like, we kind of went through... We did the tasks as needed, but I don't feel like I raced through those necessarily. I was trying to balance between the things. So yeah, it's interesting that the ending comes so quickly, really. Maybe it isn't that quick. I mean, I don't even know how many episodes have we done of this. <laughs> Perhaps it really wasn't that quick. I have to say this game plays fast and doesn't... Like Every time I've, I've done an episode, I feel like, what did I just get done? Like I don't feel like I was able to get things done. So the, the game has a lot of momentum to it, so maybe it just played through really quick. I have no idea how many hours I've logged, I'd have to check on the... Because I'm playing this on Switch, not on PC. Um, because it came out earlier on PC. so Or on Switch, sorry. Uh, I wouldn't play it on PC, but it came out much later. Um, so I have no idea, I, don't, I haven't checked. Yeah, weird. I, I have no idea also... I, what like what is the time between these games and their cycles? Like I have to imagine two to four years. I, I can't imagine they're that quick. Um, or between like substantial editions, it must be like five years or something. I, I really don't know. Guessing it's been a bit. This and Mineral Town are the only two of this series I've ever played. I've enjoyed them. Um, I do like how the game has grown. I've enjoyed this one more for just its, its depth of things. I like that it still keeps the kind of zaniness. Um, like the Switch wants to go to sleep, but that's all in the credits are. I like the zaniness of everything. That uh, the, the characters are kind of wacky. The, the cut screens are, uh, cut scenes are kind of wacky. And uh, just, the, yeah. The dialogue, everything, is really off-kilter, which is, is interesting. It gives a charm that keeps it from just being like, oh, grab your tools and let's smash stuff. It's not just a grind fast. All right, there we go. We got through. That was so weird. <laughs> okay. Well, let's load a day up. That, yeah, that's the only thing I don't like about the Switch is the incredibly slow loading times. Uh, Navisprite. Hi, Hodge. Guess what? I've got some super special wonderful news for you today. Us sprites, we know how much time it takes to go around gathering all of nature's bounties. That's why we've been talking about lending you a hand with your harvesting. What? Really? That's cool. Before we do that, though, we'll need a little extra motivator so we can get going. If you're going to cheer on all the sprites to lend their power, that means you'll need to find all the right stuff for the job. If you're up for the challenge, then go on and get collecting. Once you get everything we need, we can turn it all into an olive hull and we'll pick it up from there. You can do it. All right, that's interesting. So they'll help me with my heart. I'm going to be doing nothing. Spirit Quest. Now that all of town has become a top tourist destination, you'll be able to contribute to high-level town requests. From time to time, your neighbors may visit your farm with special tasks for you. Stock up on highest quality crops and materials, however, because these requests won't be easy and you have to clear them all to get to the next level. Oh, that's cool. Okay, I'm all about that. What? Uh, the cats might... Do you guys want a thing? Oh, it's six. I see it. We, we woke up extra early. Because of the thing. Okay, let's give you some stuff. Yeah, this is on... My cats uh, are... One of them is, is back at the uh, level of... It, you've woken up, therefore I must be fed immediately, because she's a hungry, hungry little kitty. And uh, will just follow me around until the, the job is done. Very insistent now, which is nice to see, because she wasn't so food motivated before. She was kind of like, eh. Now she's all happy. So the idea of having cats just being sleeping when I, when I come out of the sleeping area myself is uh, weird. Alright, let's get these all... 
Okay, and we have to get back to cutting down trees out here already. Okay, is that it? That is it. Okay, uh, go take care of all these little... Boy, boy. Uh-huh, and you... There's more coming out of the bunny pen, I think. Just running into the thing. What are you doing? I, I, yeah, it's interesting. I don't know why some of them take so long to come out. Oh, that honey is done. Okay, well, let's see about that. So definitely I feel like I only in the past little bit did I get to the idea where it was like, okay, we're starting to get our, our head around this game. Like, we're starting to succeed at some of the, the the tasks and activities. Okay, why do... It's weird to, that you have to go in and out to trigger everybody to come out for the day. Because you know that they're all waiting. <laughs> There's so many of them in there. Yeah, I think I'm used to... Uh, I was playing Sturdy Valley yesterday. And the amount of, like, you know... The sheer volume of animals that you get going on the farm. This game doesn't feel like it encourages that same level of absurd sort of min-maxing of uh, animal production. Maybe it does. I, I don't. They they seem they're so cute and they have such character individually that you, like there's you don't need to go all maximalist. <laughs> How's it going, Rascal? Okay, so, uh, what do I have? I do have some space, okay. Oh, uh, cancel. Oh, dude, I did not want to eat whatever I just ate. I don't even know what I just ate. Um, uh, flowers. Do I? I don't have any flowers. Okay, we need to get those things loaded up. I'm sure I've missed some things there. There's flowers there. Oh my gosh, there's so many mushrooms here. And then these here, these are different. Trumpet and Shemejis, yeah. And... Yesterday, for the first time, I've, in, I've never in my life had uh, Fiddlehead Ferns. Oh, we're, we're out of space. And uh, it's not a thing that kind of, I don't know, seemed... All, I, I love Ferns, but I it did not appeal to me as a thing I wanted to eat. <laughs> I enjoyed them, but, uh, okay, where did I, did I put, I was paying no attention. I left the makers down here. Um, anyway, they've never occurred to me as a thing I really wanted to eat, and, I, and then I was like, I, it's like, I've never had these, so I thought I should try these, and, uh, uh it was interesting, because I, I, you know, some semi-competent in the kitchen, so I was like, okay, I'm going to look at how to prep these, because my assumption would be, they're a green thing. I'm gonna saute them or steam them, um, and then uh, they'll be fine. And you know they're crisp. I thought, okay, not too long. And I was like, I better look. And uh, sure enough, I looked it up. And uh, here we have. Uh, I guess it's like the FDA in the states for American uh, viewers. It's uh, what we call Health Canada, which gives some guidelines for things, um, specifically for like. Uh, I don't know, food prep and like things like you, you know, not killing yourself from some stupid or <laughs> it's hard to describe. The, uh, at any rate, one of the things, oh, these are a different man, man, there's too many things here. Okay, let's, <laughs> I've got so much stuff to pick up. Um, anyway, the Health Canada had a, uh, a, a warning about them and was like, you need to boil these things for, uh, 15 minutes or steam them for, 10 to 12 minutes otherwise you might just uh they could be toxic and uh you might poison yourself i was like what <laughs> i never heard that before uh but i was glad i checked i'm assuming they're just there might be stuff hiding in them is an issue over pizza eggs okay i need to focus on grabbing all of the things okay let's empty 
Why am I packing around this lumber? I must have been making something really good. Yeah. <clears throat> what was I building? What was I doing? Um, yeah, frankly, I don't know. Okay, let's put it away for now because it's just clocking up my inventory. So at any rate, I, uh, I decided to, to steam them. I thought boiling is, doesn't seem like ever a good choice with vegetables. Um, I'm, I'm a saute steam kind of person, so um, did that, and uh, yeah, they were interesting. They they had less flavor than I expected. They were. I, I then sauteed them in a bit of uh, margarine and uh, sliced up garlic, and uh, put a tiny bit of lemon juice on them. Um, they were nice, but it was yeah, it was interesting. I was like, well, that was not at all what I expected, which was kind of cool. Uh, in a way, in a way, getting if I got something I expected that wouldn't have been as interesting. So it was, yeah, that was uh, seeing the in Stardew Valley, seeing Fiddlehead Risotto all the time uh, as a thing. I was curious. Uh, finally, I was like, okay, what do these actually even taste like? And uh, yeah, not like, not like much really. Okay, I didn't get any eggs, but I don't have any room here. Uh, okay, let's just keep processing stuff. Let's go dump off our fluff. Yeah, this is what I get when I'm trying to talk at the same time. Um, it needs to go in this one, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know what I was doing with all of these other products, but I definitely a lot of stuff we can sell. Are we able to buy another sales bin? That would be very handy. We're on the 22nd here. Uh, okay, I'm gonna just sell those. 10 butter. I, I don't know what I was doing with all these different. Um... Okay, I'm gonna sell that. I must have been. We were producing some stuff up on the island things. Let's go. Okay, let's go to Petalwind and see what we were doing up here. Because I, I know we, we, I built seed makers. Maybe that's what I had the materials for. Well, wow. Oh my. Okay, so, yeah, we've got a variety of different uh, things here growing. Uh, and these are... I don't think I have the resources for these seeds. These seem like fall things. So what I'm kind of thinking is I'm going to grab the fodder. Uh, okay, interesting. I ran out of... Okay, maybe I'll hold off on that then. Do I have... Uh... I see, there we go. There was the stuff I was processing. Okay. <laughs> and I don't know what uh, I was intending to do here, if I was going to get just enough to... I really don't know what my, my... I'm assuming I was going to just process a little bit. Uh, oh, it's still going. Oh, wow. Okay. So I loaded those things up. Gotcha. All right. Well, that's fine. And then the garlic. Coal spores. No. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's head over to the other one, I think. I don't think I want to deal with this right now. Let's go to Eversun. Or did it? Yeah, that will pedal now the summer one. Okay. Okay, so I had some flowers growing out here, right? We, it was a much more meager offering, wasn't it? Um, and... Uh, I don't know about these, what I was exactly doing. I'm going to go and put these... Oh, hold up. So if I go up and I go insert a... a... Nope. Oh, I guess it doesn't... Yeah, okay. The option, I thought it might just... Let me skip that. Okay, so one of these is going to be like a fall thing, and one of them is not. Right, and I was I was intrigued about the whole flower thing here. Oh, I, is that why I was carrying flowers? Was for the bees? 
Probably. Eh, whatever. Um, okay. And I feel, I don't know if that other thing, the turnip, uh, am I growing those now? Spring? It's spring. Uh, I don't even know. Okay. Let's go to the, uh, Stonebreaker. That's where we want to go. Let's go see what's out there. Okay. Where's my, my tool here? Let's... I, I keep feeling like I'm going to have to charge up higher. Oh wait, I'm not doing anything. Why am I charging? Okay, let's just do this. Perfect. Okay. And then come and uh, smash our gold here. Oh, let's actually get that. Okay. And then we'll just take this out. Okay, this is a good amount of the, uh, whatever this was called. Or Calcum, right. Okay, and then we'll just come and wall up that on its own. So, uh, yeah, we can't be that far off from getting a net. I gotta start smelting this stuff down. I, I don't remember how many bars I needed to do anything. Uh, presumably a few. Okay. Just trying to, like, make sure I get everything here. go. Put your hard hat on, buddy, because we're just going to get bananas. All right. And these ones over here. Yeah, and then, is it worth charging? I don't know. Oh, we got another little Earth Sprite thing. So we're at 42. It's going to take a little bit, but not that long to open up those other regions. I feel like that's going to be nice. I'm definitely interested to see what this whole automation thing is going to look like, too. That, so I'm guessing that's just a late game thing that opened up because we got two credits there. But that's going to be neat, because they're going to help out a lot. Um... Uh, yeah, having uh, I like that that wasn't like their only function. Um, because in the other game, uh, yeah, I definitely I yeah didn't understand the whole sprite concept very well initially. I uh, would have would have and should have done more to like kind of level them up and worry about them. Uh, yeah, let's go back to the farm. That's good enough. Let's go dump up all these goodies. Get them all loaded up into the machines. And I guess let's also, before I do that though, let's head into town and uh, we'll check out what's on the job board and we'll check out, we did get some rewards or whatever. I feel like we're going to be bumping into some cutscenes here. Not if I avoid everyone. Um, let's go. Uh, we're going to get asked to stop walking around town with a giant hammer. Okay, so the Navis Sprites. Oh, they want 10 cow topiaries. Wow. Five horse, seven chickens. <laughs> that's interesting. And then, well, that's a town request. No, the Earth Sprites just want flowers. Okay, so we just happen to have that on us. So they want different flowers. Oh, that's nice. Those are really easy. And then the town wants a bunch of topiaries. Okay. I, I like it. We can do this. So we got three gold coins. Or three gold town medals. A 
It did make sense that we were kind of hitting a later point in the game based on the amount of money we had. Alright, so... Topiaries and uh, flowers to bring. Okay, we'll have to look into that. And then, how much room? Okay, we've got enough room. Let's go and get our crops here. So, tournament onions were, in fact, a spring food. And. What else do we have? Oh, and further to the, the fiddlehead print thing. What, would I make fiddlehead prints again? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, I wasn't that excited about them for the process and at the end. I thought, well, it was, it was a nice, it was nice to try them. It was something, it was interesting. Uh, we'll put in the, well, I guess we can put in more than one, can't we? Okay, we'll put some of those in. Um, yeah, it was, it was nice to try. It was a nice change. So, what I... Oh, hold up. Is cucumber a spring seed? Okay, yeah. Uh, seven days. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have problems with that. I don't want to plant those. Four days is more of our jam right now. Because I'm running out of days. Don't know what I'm doing. Oh, that's that. All right, well. <laughs> Let me just throw stuff at the ground. Uh... Not even paying attention, but yeah, I don't know that I would go out of my way. It was a, it was neat to try. I'm glad I did, but I don't know that I would really work on. Uh, oop. Um, yeah, it, it wasn't a, so good that I was like, I need to have these again. But it was definitely cool. Again, I may have just like not prepared them very well. It's possible they didn't wow me. That's all I'm saying. They were good, but they didn't wow me. I don't know what would have. I don't know if there was a, if anything really. I would have been like, oh my gosh. Uh, let's put another one of those in. Okay, and I guess we can get some of this other ore. They were nice though. They were very crispy and you know they they were fresh. They weren't like manky looking uh, um, fiddleheads. So it, I'm assuming I got a reasonable fiddlehead experience there. Anyway, yeah, there's a lot of foods like that where I'm like, eh, I, I guess <laughs> it, it, it is good. It's not bad, for sure. But again, my ex who knows what my expectations really should have been. Um, okay, that's all done, but I don't... Well, I guess I get it. Why not? Yeah, let's clear it out. Stuff's a pain. And then uh, should check on our fodder here and see what is this looking like. Okay, yeah, we, we should put some more in there. Wow. Okay, and that's that. Easy enough. And we'll come and collect uh, some of the flowers and things that were all around here. And there was some more stuff up here. And, oh, you know, I... Uh, I guess I kind of want to put some of them. Yeah, I guess we should give some of these to the bees as well. Uh, let's get this. Oh, there's another one there. Okay, well, we got a few things. But I did get rid of the flowers I had, didn't I? So, do I have anything here? No, I don't. Oh, you know, it is nighttime. I'm wondering if we can see anything. There's still so many creatures I think we haven't really seen yet. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here. The lemon marigolds. Well, it's 8 o'clock. It's almost, almost bedtime here. Let's get the last little bit. Oh wow, okay, well I clearly haven't done anything up here for a while. <laughs> but it does make sense in terms, like, the game pacing in terms of, uh, we'd hit, 
kind of, you know, with the ability to get most of the big resources pretty decently. So it kind of, I guess, makes sense that we would have hit uh, a, a bit of an end point or a transition point. Uh, oh, there we go. Some black peony. Um, and then let's, again, I don't know if any of these go in here. I don't think so. Oh, that was her black pansy. That does. Okay. Well, let's throw that in. And then, uh, well, we'll just leave the trees. We'll come get the trees another time. We need to keep up on those. Yeah, turn your headlight on. That's a good idea. And that could I, oh, I don't have any spores to put in. Okay. Um, screeching and careening. Okay, let's go and sell some stuff. Let's get rid of uh, the butter burr. Sure, that. Okay, three time metals. So that's 3,000. That's nice. Um, onion, garlic, onion, trumpet mushrooms, turnip, and some cheeses, some yogurt. Alright, and what else do we have here? So we have one of the topiaries. <laughs> so we need ten. Uh, it'll be interesting to see, like, what exactly... Uh, yeah, with those. Okay, and that was the other flower we have. So we'll bring that stack of stuff with us. And then, yeah, the topiaries. I'm curious what exactly we need to make those. So the we need... Oh, let's just cut grass. Grass, and then verdant grass, and then verdant grass. Really, that's it? Okay, well, let's go and grab this stuff, because I feel like we probably have enough to do some of this. Where did I put the grass? Is it... There we go. Uh, okay. Grass. And then mirage grass and tough grass. Uh, I feel like maybe that? I don't know. Let's find out. So we got, uh... Okay, so I think there was ten cows. And I, I, th I have a cow already, so we'd have enough to do that. Okay, so yeah, definitely some more... <laughs> Resources are going to be required here. Um, and how many can I make here? Uh, I feel like this one was actually five, or was this one seven? I'll make the whole lot. Doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm going to need to grab some more grasses. So oh, that's good. It motivates me to get back on that because I, I definitely took a break on uh, dealing with that. But that I'm able to get a good chunk of those. So that's good, uh, and I'll grab the one out of here. And then, um, I don't know that I made any other ones in the yard. Did I? I feel like I had something. Oh, it's a bear statue. That's what we have. All right, gonna leave everything else. Let's get to bed before it's too late. Go to bed, kitty cat. You're you're up way past your bedtime. Way past your bedtime. Alright, we will see you all next time. Till then, bye-bye.